Things only get harder for the H-2 rocket once it lifts off. Friction with the atmosphere subjects the nose to 300 degree temperatures. Without protection, cargo carried inside might just burn up, but an insulating material has got that problem covered and it's painted on. This resin was developed based on the same concept. A thin coat keeps the elements out. When applied to a roof and walls, it provides a solution to summers that sometimes feel like 300 degrees. If the interior walls are painted too, the house will hold heat inside in winter. A demonstration tells all. These steel plates are heated. The gray one has regular paint. The white one, the insulating resin. Ice doesn't last long on the regular paint, but even after a minute, the ice on the insulating resin holds its shape. This warehouse roof wears the resin. According to the owner, temperatures inside dropped as much as 18 degrees Celsius as a result. Before the roof was painted with insulation, the heat was horrible. People couldn't work on the second floor. But after the resin was applied, it became very comfortable. A factory in Osaka turns out this energy-saving elixir. What they're working with may look like ordinary paint. But in fact, it's a high-tech concoction mixed with inspiration and persistence. On JTEC, the story of the company that examined an approach to the challenges of spaceflight and then brought it down to Earth. Make way for JTEC, the heart and soul of Japanese manufacturing. Here come your hosts, two of the most insulated figures in entertainment, Pakkun Makkun. Hi. Konnichiwa. Makkun, are you sensitive to the heat and cold? Yes. I get cold feet, I get hot flashes. I think it's menopause. <laughs> it might be menopause. Mm. Well, all of you out there who are bothered by extreme temperatures should watch very carefully. We have some interesting new technology for you. Oh. For example, Take this. This is Japan's newest rocket, the H-2B. Wow, the Japanese make everything so small. <laughs> well, yes they do, but this is not the real thing. This is just a model. It's one one hundredth of the actual size. Now this part of the rocket is called the fairing. It protects the satellite and other cargo during launch. Now this is a piece of the real material from the H-2 rocket. And if you look closely, you'll notice that the surface is coated with a kind of resin. It's an insulation to protect the fairing from the heat during the launch. Insulation on the outside? That's right. I thought insulation was the soft stuff in the walls. Yes, you often find insulation inside the walls, but this is on the outside. They should call it outsulation. <laughs> well, I'll suggest the name change. Well, this outsulation, or insulation, is a very special type. It's a coating which is applied like a paint. Really? So you could paint it on your walls? That's right. To keep you warm in the winters and cool in the summers. Or you could paint it on your windows. That's right, although it'd sort of defeat the purpose of a window, but yes. In fact, you can use this space-age technology to insulate your home with just a very thin coat of paint. Sound great. I'm going to get me some. But first, I've got to find out more. OK. Oh, this is the place. Let's go inside. Yo runs its Osaka plant with just 15 people. Tatsujiro Ishiko is the top man. They say seeing is believing, but touch tells a lot too. 
pass, a steel plate is heated to 1200 degrees centigrade. うわあ、どんどん赤くなってくる。もうここが熱い。ここがここが熱い。ここが。ああ。うわ。Next, another plate coated with the insulating resin. いやいや、ここはもう赤くなってますよ。ちょっとまあ手を置いてみてください。えー、ちょっとえー、嘘。こっち。This is where they make the resin. ここで行われるとそうなんですということはここに防止化して、はい、あ、入ってる入ってる入ってる Inside the tank is water soluble resin で、ここで何するんですかはい、それでですねはいこの樹脂にですねはい断熱効果を持たすことのできる、はい、特殊なものをここで入れるんです実は、はい、Here it is これがちょっと変わった特殊なセラミックですセラミック、ええ、おー触ってもいいですか、ええ、どうぞどうぞ触ってみてくださいはいおーすげえ触ってないみたいほらうわー柔らかいっていうかこれちょっと持ってみてくださいはいはい、はい、わかるっていうか何も入ってないうんちょっと上げてみてくださいえおお入ってるあ、えー、これ入ってるんだそうなんですよおおすごい入ってる入ってるっ、えー、あすげえ It's a two liter bottle If it were water It would weigh 2 kilograms. なんでこんな軽いんですかこれはですね、はい、ちょっと変わった構造のセラミックで、はいえー、中空ビーズと言いましたね中空ビーズはい、うん、ピンポン玉のように丸い形をしてまして、はいうん、その中が空気なんですよ Here's how they look under a microscope The big ones are only 50 micrometers and each one has air in it The size varies from about 10 to 50 micrometers. There are three types. One reflects infrared rays, another radiates far infrared rays, and the nature of the third changes depending on the type of heat. All of these are mixed together. Reflecting and radiating work together. The type that reflects infrared rays. Crushes back heat that hits the coated surface. The heat not reflected is transmitted to the coated object and radiated at far infrared rays. The idea to use different beads came about through cooperation with the Japan Aerospace Exploration Agency, the creator of the H2 rocket. We develop about 50 to 60 patents each year. Altogether, we hold more than 800. We hope the private sector will create new businesses by making use of these patents. That's our goal. JAXA shared some of its technology and know how with the company. It showed that mixing differing components can make things better. President Ishiko took the hint. He mixed three types of beads of different sizes and capabilities. The science is sound, but making it work depends on the skill of the employees. The ratio of resin to ceramic is 4 to 6. The process requires constant monitoring. The speed of the propeller is continuously adjusted. 
additives alter the thickness. The ceramic and resin are mixed for about one hour to make an even combination. This insulating material is the result. The white color of the ceramic is the color of the coating. The ceramic is evenly distributed. The water evaporates but the ceramic remains. The insulating layer is now in place on the surface. The Tokyo government and Tokyo Metropolitan University are seeing how this cuts carbon dioxide. One house has no insulating resin, the other has been coated. These structures are like ordinary, identical homes. We built two of them. The exterior wall of the non-coated house is 37 degrees centigrade. The coated house is 33 degrees. That's a difference of almost three and a half degrees. At that temperature outside, the inside stays cool without air conditioning. No air conditioning means a 50% reduction in energy use. This also would mean a 50% reduction of CO2 emissions. The resin is eco-friendly and easy on the eye. It can be mixed in 260 colors. Add blue, red, and black to the white ceramic and... Brilliant sky blue paint! It can be applied with a brush, a pad, or spray. High-tech insulating resin gets the job done. <laughs> Here's the cup I painted. Oh, very nice, mm. if artistically challenged. Hmm, it's sort of rough to the touch. I guess it gets its texture from the ceramic beads in the coating. They account for 60% of it when it's applied, but 80% after it's dried. Now you got to do a lot of experiments, but I'd sort of like to see the efficacy of this coating myself. Okay. I'll fill two cups with boiling water. Okay. No, oh, it's steamy. Mm. First, put your hand into the water. No, but I will touch the cups. Oh, oh. this one's pretty hot. It, it's uncomfortable to grab, but the one with the insulation coating on it is very cool. Well, it's warm to the touch. It's not actually hot. That's incredible. Now, put your hand into the water. No, <laughs> you can't make me do that. But apparently this insulation works because the ceramic beads don't transfer heat. That's what they say, but I don't get it. Well, let me see if I can explain. Think about a sauna. A sauna can be up to 100 degrees Celsius inside. That's as hot as boiling water. But what would happen if you were to sit in a big pot of boiling water? I'd make a lovely broth. <laughs> yes, you might make a nice broth.